welcome back to my channel so for the longest time I wanted to make myself a lacy scarf but I wasn't able to decide on what pattern to go ahead with because I wanted something that would suit all occasions so I was going to make the lost soul scarf initially but I dropped the plan because that would have not suited all the occasions but then I came up with this dragonfly scarf, the dragonfly pattern and look how beautiful it is. It will suit all the occasions and it's going to be light and breezy. Now without wasting any further time, I am going to get right into the video. For that, uh, first we are going to make a slip knot on our fingers like this by making an X. After making a slip knot, we're going to start chaining. Now I want the chain in the multiples of 16 plus 9. Now I'm just going to make a swatch over here. So I will just crochet 32 plus 9. Now here I have made 41 chains and now I'm going to start with my first row. For the first row we're going to skip 3 chains and in the 4th chain we're going to make 1 double crochet. Now in the next chain we're again going to make 1 double So our first uh, row is basically going to be one double crochet each in all the chains so let me just complete my first row i'm going to make double crochets and i'll see you once i'm done now here I'm done making my row of double crochets and moving on to our second row. I am first going to make a three chains. Now this chain three will be counted as our first double crochet. We're going to turn around our work. And now we're going to skip that very first stitch. And in the second stitch from our hook, we're going to make one double crochet. Now in the next stitch again, we are going to make one double crochet. Now we are going to ch chain one, skip one stitch and in the next stitch we are going to make one double crochet. Uh, again we are going to chain one skip one stitch and in the next stitch one double crochet chain one skip one stitch in the next stitch again one double crochet so this row is going to be one double crochet in the alternate stitches when with the chain one in between and we're going to do this all throughout the row till we reach wherein we are left with four stitches okay so i am going to continue making my stitches and i'll see you at the end of this row So as I had told you, I have, I'm done making my second row and we are left with four, the last four stitches. I'll tell you what it, how to finish off the second row. For that, we're going to chain one as usual, skip one stitch and in the next stitch, we are going to make one double crochet. Now we are left with two stitches and we're going to make one double crochet in each of the stitch as we have started this row. So if you see we have started the row with uh, three double crochets right so we're going to end the row as well with three double crochets because that's our border actually so in any row in any of the rows we'll start and finish off with three double crochets like this for the border now moving on to our third row we are going to chain three one two and three now this chain three is going to be counted as our first double crochet we'll turn our work around and uh we'll make three double crochets first so this is our first double crochet we'll skip one stitch and in the second stitch we're going to make one double crochet and 
And in the next stitch, we're going to make one double crochet. So we're done with our border. Now we'll leave a gap like this for to begin with our square. For that, we're going to chain one and we're going to skip that chain space, chain one space, and in the next uh, double crochet on top of that, we're going to make one double crochet. And now we're going to make one double crochet in that chain one space. One double crochet on top of the next stitch. One double crochet in the chain one space. So in this row, we will have a total of 15 such double crochets. So I'm just going to continue making my 15 double crochets and I'll see you. I'll see you at the end. I'll show you what to do next. So your 15th stitch should be on top of that double crochet, top of a double crochet. Now we're going to chain one, skip that uh, chain one space and in the next double crochet we are going to make one double crochet on top of it. Now in the next stitches like we did earlier we're going to make one double crochet in the chain one space and one double crochet on top of that double crochet so again we're going to make 15 double crochets on this side as well so this is our second square so let me just complete making my 15 double crochets and i'll tell you what to do next so after making 15 double crochets again we will be left with four stitches so we are going to chain one skip that chain one space and in the next three stitches we're going to make one double crochet each one two and three making a stitch in that chain space is like not the chain space into that chain is tricky sometimes yeah so we are done with our three double crochets now I'm going to chain three again obviously this chain three is our first double crochet turn around on our work skip that first chain and make two double crochets each in the next two stitches one and two now again we're going to chain one skip that chain one space and on top of that double crochet we are going to make one double crochet and now we are going to start making the tail of our dragonfly for that in the next six sti stitches we're going to make one double crochet each so we should have a total of seven double crochets so this is a two three four After making seven double crochets, you're going to chain one, skip that next stitch, and in the next stitch, we're going to make one double crochet. So, this will make the tail of our dragonfly, and now we'll be left with six more stitches till we reach the chain one space. So, we are simply going to make one double crochet on top of each stitch. So, on this side as well, we'll have seven double crochets. Five, six, 
and seven after making our seven double crochets we'll reach the place where you have this chain one space so we are going to chain one skip that chain one space and in the next stitch we are going to make one double crochet now we are going to repeat the same pattern that we did for our first square so we'll have a total of seven double crochets here chain one skip one stitch and seven double crochets on this side as well so I am just going to do complete that and I'll see you at the end of this row obviously we'll reach this stitch uh, when we uh, do our seven double crochets then we're going to chain one and make skip that chain one space and make this border of three double crochets so i'm just going to continue doing that and i'll see you at the end of this row now you see i am done making my fifth row as well and i've made it exactly like my fourth row so we are done making the tails for our dragonflies and now i'm going to go ahead and make the wings in our next row for that we are going to chain three make the border as usual turn around the work and skip the first chain and in the next two chains next two stitches sorry we're going to make a one double crochet each after that we're going to chain one skip that chain one space and in the next stitch we're going to make one double crochet now including this stitch we are going to have a total of four double crochets so uh, we'll have three more double crochets each in the next three stitches so two three and four so we have these four double crochets now i'm going to chain three one two and three and you see this chain one space we are going to make one single crochet in that space you see this is our very first wing that we made now i'm again going to chain three one two and three skip the next three stitches and in the fourth stitch we're going to make one double crochet now including this double crochet we'll, go, we'll have four double crochets so we're going to make a three double crochets in e like one double crochet each in the next three stitches two and three Now you see we have our first pair of wings here. These are the shorter wings. In the next row we'll have the uh, longer wings of our dragonfly. So this is the gap that we make in between the two squares. For that uh, I'm going to chain one, skip that chain one space and in the next double crochet I am going to make one double crochet. Now including this I am this stitch I'm going to make four double crochets like we did in our first square so this is two three and four after making four double crochets we are going to chain three one two and three in this chain one space we are going to make one single crochet again we have made a wing on our second square chain three again oops one two and three skip the three for three stitches and in the fourth stitch we're going to make one double crochet now one double crochet each in the next three stitches and we'll be at the end of our row where we'll complete our row with the border one two and three now chain one skip that chain one space and in the next three stitches one double crochet each one two and 
and three. So our row of the short wings is complete and moving on to our next row, chain three, which will be our first double crochet, turn around our work, skip that first stitch and in the next two stitches, one double crochet each, one and two, chain one, skip that chain one space and in the next stitch make one double crochet now for this row again we are going to make wings but the wings in this row will be a bit longer for that for that what we'll do is including this double crochet in the next two stitches we're going to make one double crochet each so instead of uh, four double crochets we'll just have three double crochets before we start making a wing in this row so after making three double crochets we're going to chain four one two three and four after making four chains on top of that one single crochet that we made we're going to make one single crochet you see how beautiful the wing looks now again we're going to make four chains one two oops three and four after chaining four we are going to skip that uh, double crochet and in the next double crochet we are going to make one double crochet and we'll be left with two more stitches we are going to make one double crochet each in the next two stitches and now we reach the divider in between our two squares so we are going to simply chain one and skip that chain one space and here we make our next double crochet now we add, now as we did for our first square we are going to repeat the exact same thing on our second square as well so let me just continue making the wings now in the next two stitches we're going to make one double crochet each one and two chain four one two three and four one single crochet on top of that single crochet chain four one two three and four skip that first double crochet and in the second double crochet we'll make one double crochet each in the next three stitches one two and three after making three double crochets we'll be at the end of our row so we're going to chain one skip that chain one space and in the next three stitches we're going to make one double crochet each to finish off our row two and three now our uh, dragonfly is actually complete you can see now we are just going to complete the square how, look how beautiful it looks like now for our next row we are going to chain three as usual one two and three turn around uh, skip the first chain in the next two chains we're going to make one double crochet each one and two now we're going to chain one skip that chain one space and in the on top of that stitch we're going to make one double crochet now you see you've got two double crochets left we are going to make one double crochet each in the next two stitches one and two and now you see that we have a chain four space 
which we had made for our wing. In that chain four space, we're going to make four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. After making our four double crochets in that chain four space, you see we have that single crochet next. We are going to make one double crochet on top of that single crochet. And now we'll again reach the chain four space which we had made for our second wing. And even in that we're going to make one, four double crochets, sorry. One, two, three, and four after making four double crochets in that chain four space we'll be left with three double crochets here we are going to make one double crochet each in the next three stitches so once we complete this i will tell you just let me make my last double crochet okay so once we complete this square these are going to be 15 double crochets if you count you will have 15 double crochets and now i'm going to chain one and skip that space i'll make a double crochet over here on top of the uh, next double crochet i'll make double crochets on top of the next two double crochets as well and as we did for our first square we are going to make four double crochets in the chain four space one double crochet on top of the single crochet again four double crochets in the chain chain four space then we'll be left with three double crochets we'll make one double crochet on top of each and then we come to the end of our row where we're going to make a chain one space and finish off with three double crochets so i am just going to continue making these and i'll see you at the end of this row and we are done with this row as well now there's only one row left to complete our square and that row is just plain double crochets so i'm just going to start off with the border like we always do one two chain one skip that chain one space and one double crochet in the next stitch so now our next row is just going to be 15 double crochets chain one space and 15 double crochets on this side as well and we'll finish off with the bottom so i don't know if uh, you guys know this but dragonfly is actually a symbol of rebirth change and uh, good luck so it's a perfect gift it's a perfect christmas gift as well now i'm just going to continue making my uh, last row and i'll show you after i'm done with this row i'll show you how to go on and do the next squares like squares on top of this i'll just continue doing this and i'll see you at the end of this row so i'm done making the last row of our squares as well now if you want to continue making more and more squares you are going to repeat this row first so our next row will basically be one double crochet chain one space one double crochet chain one one double crochet that this the second row will actually be our next row and then you can continue making your squares as usual the dragon fly squares as usual okay and if you want to end the row you can simply make one double crochet each in all the stitches and end the topmost row so this is how it should look like so once you're done making your rows so you see this this is the row wherein i have made one double crochet chain one space one double crochet chain one space and then i have made this exact same square in the next uh, row so this is how you can go on and i'm making a scarf for myself you can even make blankets with this and this is how our project should look like 
Thank you for watching my video. If you do like my video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Happy crocheting!